So hello everyone and welcome. And uh, my name is Oscar Duran. I am the chair of the ASPRS Student Advisory Council, better known as SAC. But in this session, me and two other people will be, we'll, we will uh, talk to you a little bit about student chapters. And uh, well, the, pers the people that are here with me today are Elizabeth Bushnell. She's the president of the uh, of a chapter, and we have a faculty advisor as well, representing his chapter in Tennessee, uh, Dr. Azad Hossein. And let's go into it quickly here. First of all, I would like to state what the mission is of the Student Advisory Council for those of you who do not know. So we are a council part of the ASPRS. Our mission, let me do this quickly. Our mission is to, to strengthen the the community through events, workshops, webinars, uh, so so many different things. But a major, major part of, of SAC is student chapters, the student chapters. And today we will focus on student chapters. And let's see now student chapters, student, uh, student groups that represent ASPRS. They are based in universities, colleges, uh, community colleges and whatnot. They're anchored by with a faculty advisor. That means that you, the, the chapter just needs a faculty advisor to sort of oversee and kind of be the, the leading person, the go-to. And also they are the ones that, that stay in the, in the chapter the longest, right? Because the students usually rotate and whatnot. So we usually have that, that continuous and straight communication with the faculty advisor. When I say we, I, I mean the ASPRS directly, the national organization. Also, yes, we host events, uh, webinars. We, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a very community-based. The student chapters are local, so they are, it's like, a, like you would look at, uh, you know, a family tree. At the top, you have the parents, that would be, the ASPRS national, and then below that, the parents you have maybe the, the children, and that's um, that would be the, the regions. As you know, we have various regions in the ASPRS. You probably should be connected with your region to, to know about the events, uh, the, all the activities that are taking place. And under the regions, each region has chapters that fall within the region. Let's say the a Rocky Mountain region or, or, or Pacific Southwest. Okay. So, and uh, yes, to enrich the local community, grow into national, international communities. And I want to now make you good use of my time here. International communities, I wanna to touch on the international because right now we're only talking about uh, the United States, but we also have a, a new, an opening now we are, we are able to bring in chapters from international schools. And that is a good news, that's, that's something new, and I, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. But first, I want to show you where you can go and look and see what chapters are already established, where you could connect, also how to start a chapter. Because that's very important. If you are in a school, you have three, four friends, classmates, colleagues that are interested in the in the, the geospatial sciences. Even if you already have a, let's say, a student society, do you know that actually that student society, the same officers of the student society, the president, vice president, secretary, they can serve. They can easily, seamlessly serve as the ASPRS student chapter of your school. All you need is, is for a faculty advisor, which you usually have in the, in the school anyways, in the student society, there is always a faculty involved. I, I know that because I also went to school like, like many of you guys, and I'm still a student actually, a uh, graduate. Now, yes, yeah, so this is the, the website, the homepage where, where everything, I would like to give you this website because from here, I will show you where you can go. So I'm going to, Put this in the chat for everyone to see here. This is a website, copy and paste for you, okay? Also, if you have any questions or anything, I'm gonna give you my email address. 
So you can reach out anytime. Saka is here as an ORG. I believe that's correct. Yeah, so you can reach out to me at any point if you have any questions about student chapters or anything else related, related to the Student Advisory Council, okay? Now, from here, I want to show you where to go to look at this, uh, the student chapters that are already active. So this is the list. You see, I went to well, the, the site I gave you. That's a home, the Student Advisory Council. Then you go into public, co public content, student chapters. And here you have all the student chapters by, by host region, then by institution, faculty advisor, chapter president. So here we go. We have we have plenty of them in Oregon, California, Tennessee, Florida, and et cetera. You can see all of them. We keep we keep updating this, this list. And as I said, we also have now international. There is actually one school in India right now that they are about to, they are in the process of creating a chapter in, uh, in India. So they are, they are going to be added to, uh, to the list here very soon. And any, if you are in any school, as I said, uh, anywhere in Africa, in, in Southeast Asia, Europe, anywhere in the world, you can, or South America, you can also join ASPRS with your student chapter. Okay, now how do you petition? How do you create a chapter? Here is, it's very simple. You go here again on the, from the main website as well, public content here, you go under new student chapter petition. Okay, this is the website. Also, I will paste it in the chat in case, in case you wanted that direct link. There we go. It's right there, you should have it out. And here, this is, this outlines everything you need to do. It's one page, very easy. The person who did this actually, um, executive director of the ASPRS, she even, there is even a video tutorial here. For those of you who are prefer the YouTube tutorials quick and fast, well, it's a six minute tutorial on how to establish a chapter, create a chapter. And the, the main step, the first step actually, and the main one after you do this, we will start working with you is it's to fill out the Google form. The Google form is right here on the main page student chapter petition application. So you click it, we'll open a Google form, and here you can, you just start entering all the information that is required and go through the process. But mainly what you need is three, three officers that are members. Usually the, the regions will, you, you'll coordinate this, but some regions will cover the membership of the, actually of the, of the officers. So that will be the president, vice president, and secretary. And also, of course, you need a faculty advisor, right? So you need those four names for, for, for the, for, in the application, it will ask you. You, you will also need the, their ASPRS member IDs. That's what I want to say now. I'm now I'm going to hand it over to Dr. Azad Hossein. He's going to speak first about his chapter, and then we're going to have Elizabeth Bushnell, okay? Thank you very much. And you have my information there in, in case you, you want to reach out. And any questions? send them to my email or or you can ask here as well All right thank you very much <laughs>